This is the Rawlings Gold Glove Ceremony in New York City, where the top defensive players in the league receive their coveted Gold Glove Awards. And here's us. So this is an actual Gold Glove, guys. Like every big leaguer that you could think of is in there. Look at this background above us right now. It's like crazy. We got inside access to this exclusive event, talked to dozens of big leaguers, and even met a former MVP winner. What does it mean for you to win that award? What is your best piece of advice? You go back, talk to your 14-year-old self, growing up wanting to be here. What does it mean for you? But before we got in there, we had to get decked out in some brand new custom suits. Who is it? We got it our says, suits. Dan, Tony, and Leo, congratulations on this career milestone. Only more to come. Let's go. Shout out Lux, Sam. Thank you so much for the suits. Okay, let's check these out. Not in my boxers. <laughs> You're wearing Hanukkah <laughs> underwear. <laughs> He's wearing Hanukkah underwear. Ooh, ooh, Real quick, we should do one of those uh, jump trends. Yes, bro. Remember? One, two. <laughs> Did it work? Did it? Yeah, check this out. Okay, cool. So let's give the whole suit review. Dude, the gold patch. I don't know if you guys realize how like exclusive like this is. This is what the gold glove players they get on their gloves. They get it on their gloves. So we got on the suit and then enjoy the show. Come on now. Come on now. Luxie, come on. Oh, check out the shoes. I went with the dunks, the teal. I gotta get a belt. I forgot to bring a belt. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get one. Other than that, how we feeling, boys? Good, good, good. Get a little fresh from Bel Air action. Ah, I see you. Ah. So guys, this is Times Square. This is behind. So we're in New York. I don't know if I said that. We're in New York City. We're on a mission to get me a belt, so I don't look goofy the whole time. Macy's? Like I don't know. Nordstrom's point three miles. <laughs> Nordstrom. Away. Yep. It's on the way to the plaza. That way. Let's go get the belt. Operation belt. Belt, belt. Is it in your phone? No, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Do I look handsome? Looks good, man. The do I look handsome? Hey, Fernando, Tatis. Good to see you, man. Big, big fan of yours, Judge Aaron. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I've got the belt, $50 purchase. You can't even tell, but my pants aren't falling down now. That'd be awkward, right? Like, hey, Mookie, bet. My pants. That was it. Give me a spin, I wanna make sure there's no tag shot. You're good. All right, tags, tone? Good. And we move. And we are off. What do I do? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're here. This is called the Plaza Hotel. You guys may have seen it from Home Alone. We're not gonna get flicked up. We gotta get some flicks. Yeah. We gotta get some Let's flicks. Let's get someone to take a picture. Like it. Hi. <laughs> we're gonna go screenshot in here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's a gold glove. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I know we're is that mine? I think you had mine. <laughs> My name was on it. <laughs> Sick. The glove opens. That seemed like it was planned. Like, oh, yep, yep. Yeah. This is yeah. So this is an actual gold glove, guys. It's insane. So we got the patch right here. This is an actual. This is an actual glove. Like it's an actual gold glove. These baseballs don't come off. Okay, that's disappointing, but it's fine. And then we just did our thumbnail shots right here. We're rehearsing over there. Everything going on. We got a couple hours till the event actually starts. We're just gonna be doing interviews, to talking to the players. This is gonna be a fun, fun video. Really fun video. Again, here's the gold glove. Literal glove. Like it's not just a. It's like a real glove. So. Ooh. So this is sweet. This is like the whole, I'm not gonna open it, but this is the whole pamphlet like that shows you what's going on here. A large majority of this obviously isn't broadcasted. So we wanna just show you guys kind of like the inside look. I, everybody already knows who won. This is the winner ceremony, correct? Except, except, except there's one platinum glove award and apparently there's only one person that knows who the winner is. So that's gonna be the big surprise for the night. Any position, I think, so just but best Lindsay just to told us, I think it's just overall. It's we're gonna do, we do predictions. So that's the roster, everyone who's won a gold glove. We're guessing platinum glove. Winner. So you make your guess first. Hassan Kim. That's my guess. He's a dog. All right. That's not that easy for me. Dansby. That's one two already. Let's pick up. Yep. Welcome to the plaza, man. How's it going? How you doing? How are you? you mind if I take a picture with you? Yes, sir. Of course. My son loves you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, and here's Tony's uh, prediction. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, Look at this background above us right now. It's like crazy. Look at the background. Mm -hmm. Garcia, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Garcia. I'm gonna rock with the Rangers. All right, that's our uh, prediction for the Platinum Glove winners. So we'll see right in the video. Subscribe to Deez Arm. You guys here? Heard it here first, folks. And let's cut back to Jim on the sideline. 6.55, the event starts at 7 o'clock. Indeed. There's like a whole cocktail party going on in there, but I didn't want to like film. I feel like that would be a little intrusive. You know, we just wanted a vibe. A-Rod was right next to us, so. The ticket. 
How sick is that? And the back is cool too, actually. Mark of a pro. Mark of a pro. Present this ticket after the show for your gift, which is cool. That's awesome. Things just telling us previous nominations. People people have won the award. It's a pretty big pamphlet, as you can see. So we're about to eat some food. They got a whole like multi-course meal coming up. Try to give you guys like a panoramic shot so you know what the whole like room looks like because it's it's popping here, bro. Really, really cool. Steak dinner. A little mushroom. Yeah. So after we finished dinner, it was time to do some interviews with some MLB legends. And you guys will not believe who we had for our first interview of the night. What are we doing here? Dan, we're doing a YouTube video, so... Oh, no Tell kidding. Me. What are you, dunking on somebody? No, we have a YouTube huh? channel, so we have to do oh, baseball videos. I'm curious what it means to you out here to be on that stage and just be presenting in front of all these people who are so important in the baseball world. Oh, it's great. Uh, heck, I was a little nervous. I don't, I'm not a big public speaker. Just seeing the way the game's played now with the athletes and the young players, I mean, it's, it's it's truly fun to watch. What's your biggest advice to a kid who's like 12, 13, 14, growing up, wants to be like one of these guys one day? What's your best piece of advice? Honestly, play the game the right way and, and play multiple sports. You don't have to play baseball year round. You know what I mean? That, I think that's the big the biggest thing is is in today's world, you know, every everything is play baseball January to January and, and that's not realistic. You know, you gotta play some football, some basketball and be a good athlete because that, that'll translate to the field and you'll make better plays, be more athletic and play longer. So that's. That's my that's my advice. I love it. That was great. Yeah. And don't worry, we have so many more interviews from a bunch of different MLB stars coming up. But real quick, I want to tell you about a giveaway we're doing in this video thanks to our friends over at Rawlings. It's time for a defensive revolution to America's pastime. With advanced stats and data available like never before, the game is rapidly changing. Now there's one glove changing how you can field too. Introducing the Rawlings Rev 1X. With an ultra lightweight, form-fitting, game-ready glove that gives you consistently unmatched playability across the field, the Rawlings Rev 1X rewrites glove history while shaping the future. Join the revolution now with the Rawlings Rev 1X and custom Rev 1X options are coming very soon, so keep an eye and out. And we're actually giving away not one, not two, but three Rawlings Rev 1Xs to people who comment their Instagram and subscribe to the channel. We have two lefties and a righty, so this is this is a lefty, so this would have been mine, but we wanted to give them away because I don't need a glove. You guys need a glove. So again, all you gotta do is comment your Instagram and subscribe to the channel. That's it, this could be yours. So thank you guys so much. Let's go back to the video. Hey man, Jonas. good to meet you, how you doing? We were actually at game five where you guys clinched it. How was that experience for you? We've been doing a lot of running around, so it still kind of hasn't set in yet, but I'm sure when it does, it's going to be pretty amazing. Got this question a lot, and the best thing I can say is probably one of the best feelings in the world. Diving stab, Swanson from his backside. Got it, baby. So you just want a gold glove. What does it mean for you to win that award? I grew up watching and loving the position and like kind of being obsessed with being a shortstop and grew up like idolizing guys like Ozzie Smith and Nomar yep. and Derek and being kind of in that same class of greatness is, is pretty amazing and the second time this year was just like, man, like this is such a blessing. If you could go back and tell yourself a piece of advice at like age 14, what would you say? Mm -hmm. Kind of like how my parents raised me, like the staples in our house were keep your faith in God, like keep your faith in the right place, work hard for what you want, like set out for what you want, work hard for it. And then the third was just like respect everyone in the process. If you keep those three in line, anything is, is possible. So that's kind of like what I would say. That was a bar. That was great, dude. That's Thank you so much. That was great. Thank you. Towards left center, drifting over and making a diving catch is Ian Hatt. I mean, it all starts with working hard, but like enjoying the work. Uh -huh. I think like I always had fun working on defense. You know, I came up as a kid, I played shortstop. When I went to college to get on the field, I played first base. Okay. As a freshman. Then I played second, and then I played short, and then I played the outfield. So like I played all over the place. Got to the big leagues, started in right field, you know, played second, played third, played first, played center, played left. Like I played every just in the big leagues. I wanted to play short. Yeah. Just enjoy the work. Enjoy like, honing your craft. Enjoy playing and running around out there. Uh, and the more you can do that, the better you'll be. Because Quan jumps, he made the catch! What a play by Quan! How yeah, no, it's extremely special. Um, my dad always told me, you know, defense never slumps. You can have a tough day at the at the yard, but, you know, you got to suck it up, play some good defense, and, yeah, it's really rewarding to be with all these guys. Yeah, just do the work. I mean, that's really important. I mean, obviously hitting is super sexy, but I think uh, being a well-rounded player, taking the time, doing the reps, you know, it's not going to be super sexy stuff, but just getting the work in every day, I think that's really important. Yeah. Probably growing up wanting to be here, what does it mean for you? Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, I can't take Rawlings enough for inviting me, and obviously my whole family's here too, so to experience it for myself is amazing, but to be with them and to experience it for today is pretty cool. We, uh, we do YouTube, so we go yeah. to different places and kind of vlog the experience. Hey, you're all good. Yeah. Well, my, uh, my first roommate's brother does a lot of stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, Laser. 
No, laser beam? Yeah. Laser Bro. beam? Bro. No, that's, laser you just beam. dropped a so bomb on us. Uh, something Ecot? Landon Ecot. Uh, Landon Ecot. Yeah. yeah. I played, so my, my first roommate was Jared Ecot. Dude, He was what? a lefty out of New you South Wales. You just blew my mind. Actually, I went to GameCon. GameCon, because they flew him out to do like a, He's massive. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I had no idea. They were like, "Yeah, they're flying my brother out, so I'm coming." And we just had—I was playing with the A's at the time. We just happened to be in Seattle, so that's crazy. Caught up, grabbed lunch, and it kids was watching this are going to be blown away because I was just blown away by that. Yeah, we, yeah, I mean, we love laser beam. <laughs> like, he's the man. That's such a crazy. Yeah. Connection. So yeah. Anyway, to segue into <laughs> this event and what's going on here, what does it mean for you to be here tonight? Look, I'm a pitcher, so I always respect defense, mm -hmm. and that's one thing. It's always cool being able to go out there and see the guys that really put the effort in. They go the extra mile. Like I played with Matt Chapman, and I don't think I've ever seen someone who's put more effort into to defense than him. Batting wins games, but defense wins championships. I'd have a lot worse numbers if I didn't have a good defense behind me. So right. going out there and being able to be a part of that is just, it's so rewarding for me to be a part of and it's its such a huge deal. What is your best piece of advice to like, you go back, talk to your 14 year old self, like what would you say? <laughs> the extra mile is a road that's never crowded. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, like off the cuff saying, but uh, get in and play multiple sports. Go out there and enjoy yourself and go play football, go play soccer, go play tennis and cricket and cricket for me, uh, <laughs> baseball, go play a multitude of different sports because you build up different muscle groups. Generally, you're more athletic by playing different different sports and moving around a little bit and enjoy yourself. Enjoy it because you don't want to play baseball full time. You're going to burn yourself out. You're just not going to enjoy the game anymore. And you want to make sure that you learn where you came from and how hard it was to get where you're at and how much work you put in and it, it holds yourself a lot. That's amazing. Thank you so much. All right. So they're wrapping things up. Platinum glove winners were announced and it was Jimenez and Tatis. So we got neither of them right. Unfortunately, I said Tatis. Did you say Tatis? I think nah, I said talk to said uh roll the clip replay. Um Dansby. Look at all the gloves are there. So which one's yours, Tone? Uh it's actually my name. Look at it, so the Tony. We got a gold glove hat, little bag tag, but it's got details on it. Big tag? Big tag. You know the vibes from Minnesota. You know, it's a blessing to be here. It's always an honor. What's your favorite um, part? The steak was really cool, but also talking to Dansby was incredible. 10 out of 10. Great experience, to be honest. Top to bottom. This is sick. Like, I hope you guys like those interviews, too. I think they came out well. I tried to ask them similar questions, so we got a good compilation of like their, you know, like what's it like to win a gold glove and what advice would you give your younger self? That was kind of what I was going with. But now we're just going to chill, have a good time. Nights far from over, so let's do a little montage of what's going on now. There's gotta be some more steak, right? Like they gotta have more steak, theoretically. They probably have more steak left over somewhere. I'm a little hungry, who knows? I don't know, I don't know, just spitball, just spitballing. And just like that, we are done. A lot of really cool stuff happened tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to comment down your Instagram to win one of the new Rev1 gloves. And also don't forget to subscribe. So you just got to comment and subscribe. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Peace.